Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo. Today I am working on myself again, giving myself a nice new set. I was without nails for a long time, just kind of rocking these, you know, leftover nails after I removed those two previous sets that I had. I will link those in the, in the cards for you. I had on this hand that I'm working with that really gorgeous lavender and pink floral encapsulated set with the extendo tips and the, the flowers and the encapsulated pixies was really gorgeous. On my right hand, I had a super long custom nude um, glittery encapsulated butterfly marble set. So I will link both of those in the cards for you to check out. Definitely check them out because those nails came out really lovely on both hands. I had to take them off because I'm just being a little bit more active now and the long nails just won't work with what I'm doing. Um, so I just decided to give myself something not too long and just a little bit prettier um, than having, you know, nothing on. So I'm getting started like I normally do. Sprayed myself down with some alcohol, pushed my cuticles back, and now I'm going in with my diamond skiver bit to clean up my cuticles. So I grow pretty thick cuticles actually my nails grow very slow but my cuticles grow 10 times as fast it's ridiculous um they grow really really thick and really really sticky on my nail plate so especially on this ring finger it's important that i use this skiver bit to kind of get it up off the nail so that when i do my next set i have minimal lifting or i do my best to you know resist the lifting that can occur from you know applying an enhancement on some dead skin after that i'm just going to go in like i normally do with a sand Van. This is a fine sanding van. I believe this is from McCart on Amazon. I will link it down below. And I'm using my Koopa Me file at a fairly low speed. Again, I cannot tell you how fast I'm using it because my e-file does not come with a dial or LED display. So it's just by feel. And I'm just lightly going over the natural nail, buffing it smooth to remove shine and oil. And I am going over that cuticle area again, just to make sure that we get off as much skin as possible. After that, we're just gonna get started. I am applying my two, I said my two favorite tips. The two guys, these are my favorite tips, are the one-step coffin tips. I'm wearing them a lot shorter than I normally would, so they look even more blunt um, now that I'm looking at it on the screen. But I'm going in, I've already cut them down and blended the tips. I just figured, you know, let's not even bother showing that. Just clip them down to your length, file them, and blend the tips. And now I'm going in with my prep. So I'm using the Mia Secret Dehydrator, Primer, and the Young Nails Protein bond after that we're going to go in with a thin coat of the young nails core clear acrylic i like to do this just so that i give myself a nice clean solid base to work on a lot of the times when i do this it gives me a nice surface to work on also when i go in to remove the set sorry for the background noise but when i go in to remove the set i know to stop filing to while the removal uh when i see this clear acrylic layer it also just gives me a really nice foundation um clear acrylic gives you the best adhesion because there's nothing in it it is just pure acrylic and you just get a nice base so that's basically what i'm going to be doing i'm focusing on a nice smooth application thin and i'm making sure to not flood the cuticle and or sidewall area we do not want to cause any lifting from this base layer so just taking your time extending i like to extend the acrylic down the length of the whole nail that's just a personal thing i see people um, just do it to the natural nail do whatever works for you but for me i like to extend it nowadays down the entire length of the natural nail and the extension So I've been getting really, really excited about the summer season coming. We're in spring right now, but I'm really excited for summer in terms of nails and like the new trends that are going to be coming in. I know that I have a few neon sets that I really, really want to get done either on myself or for clients. And I'm just excited about just like lighter, prettier, softer kind of, you know, fun sets to do. So this set is definitely going to, you know, go along with those vibes. We are going to be doing a milk bath on myself with some 
ombre and some bling you know you know you gotta throw a little bling in there but it just made me really happy um, every time I look down at them I'm just kind of like wow we're really in spring we're working with flowers so as you can see on my table I've got a bunch of flowers on the table anytime you see anything on my table you know it's going on the nail and we've got a lot the colors are really gorgeous so I went ahead and just kind of snipped different types of pinks and purples and light oranges of um, tiny little flowers I clipped you know big petals into tiny pieces you're gonna see it a little bit closer later but the base for this milk bath set is my favorite milky white acrylic from iGel Beauty it is called winter white I'm giving myself a really really thin base it is a sheer off not off white it's a sheer white so you will be able to see through it slightly but by the end of the set you won't um, I'm going in with a thin layer because I'm going to be encapsulating all of those gorgeous flowers as you can see on the table a little bit better here and I've got some gold foil shredded up on the table I just like to um, before starting if I know I'm going to be working with items like that just have them on the napkin or the table set up ready to go so that I'm not like digging in jars and I just want to you know get to the chase so I'm giving myself a nice kind of thin acrylic base and while it's wet, I'm going to start picking up different pieces of the flowers, the gold foil, etc., the petals, and just placing them into that wet acrylic. It is no rhyme or reason. Um, I like a fuller milk bath nail. I know some people who prefer, you know, one or two flowers per nail, um, but I like everything and the kitchen sink in there. So you're going to see me applying slowly, just picking up random pieces. And I'm trying to just make sure that I don't put too many of one color near each other. So if I put a red flower, I'll put a light pink next to it, and then I'll put a dark purple and then a uh, light pink next to it and not forgetting the gold foil as well. So a lot of it is just going to see, you're going to see me picking up random pieces, trying to just decide, you know, what I kind of want next to each other and as you can see it is just going to be a really really soft kind of pink purpley milk bath set the beautiful thing about milk ba milk baths though is that they can look entirely different based on the color of flowers you choose you can do a set with white flowers and leaves i was actually considering putting green in my set but i figured i want to do soft pink purples and oranges so maybe in the future i will incorporate that as well so for basically for the the whole video you're just going to see me picking and choosing tiny little pieces of flowers um, and placing them on this milk bath so where i got these flowers from come from everywhere some of them are personal flowers that i've received um, for like my birthday or Valentine's or you know other events I always try to save a few petals every time I receive flowers some of them I purchased from Amazon I will link all of the flowers I've ever purchased on Amazon just so you can have an idea of where to get them from different types of you know containers of flowers some of them are from the two guys um, but you can pretty much get flowers anywhere if you're walking down the street and you see a cute flower pluck a petal put it in your pocket save it for when you're doing a set another time it seems super silly but a lot of these flowers I've had just laying around in a small container and if you look at that nail it is gorgeous and it's just coming together so I'm making sure that the base was nice and thin um, so that I have space for these um, flowers so I'm just using really really wet beads of acrylic to um, just adhere them because by now that milky white has you know polymerized and it's not sticky anymore um, once I'm happy with the placement of all of the flowers I'm gonna go in with um, the same milky white and kind of brush it over the um, the nail with the encapsulated flowers so I'm going to randomly cover some of the flowers not the entire nail just so that some of them look like they're underneath the milk some of them look like they're floating at the top of the milk and look at how gorgeous that look at how beautiful that is guys like it's really really pretty and soft and feminine and we're finally in spring I'm so happy um, for the weather to be warm we don't have to wear jackets outside let me not jinx it but you know I'm really really excited and this set is kind of doing it for me the only thing that I would have done differently with the set is just go longer um, I just have to keep them short because I'm being really active right now and just can't have long nails but I mean just super duper fun so three fingers are going to be just like this full milk bath nails with the white and the scattered flowers my middle finger I'm gonna do something different and then my pointer will be even more different so just stay tuned and I'll come back enjoy and then we'll talk when I get there Thank you. 
and this thumb is loaded with flowers and gold foil and just look at how soft and pretty this is and the gold foil just kind of gives you tiny little flecks of something sparkly you know I can't live without a little bit of sparkle um, but moving on to my middle finger we're gonna be doing an ombre nail so I had an idea of doing a partial milk bath nail on this finger so I'm going in with the milky white on the tip of this nail same thing we're going in with a nice thin you know layer as you can see it's not building up very much structure I'm just going in for that coverage of that milky white we're going to ombre the cuticle bead with a nice kind of not necessarily a nude it's more of a pink like a brownie kind of pink color it's by sugar and cream and it's called cuddle cakes um, I believe I talk about it in a haul video so if that is true I will link that haul video but it's pop you know um, another nude color that I talk about a lot on this channel but I am going to be ombre -ing. this is cuddle cakes and it's not necessarily a nude it's more of like a soft brownie kind of pink um, and I just thought that this would go well with the flowers I didn't want to go too nude um, just because we were working with so many soft pinks and purples and oranges from those milk bath nails so that's basically what's happening here again I'm working extremely extremely thin these are really really thin layers of the acrylic I'm just going for coverage then on that milky white part of the nail, so on the free edge tip part of the nail, I'm going to encapsulate more flowers. So we're just gonna ombre the flowers down and have them dissipate um, around that cuticle area. So the same thing that I did on those three fingers, we're gonna do on the tip of this middle finger. Now that that's done, on my pointer finger, we're gonna do a solid color of that Cuddle Cakes pink nail. I just figured I wanted to incorporate this color a little bit more in the set because it just seemed kind of random to have like a ombre nail on one finger and the milk baths on the rest, but I just wanted to have a solid nail of this Cuddle Cakes color. So this is just gonna be a thin, regular type of application of acrylic on this nail.
and check out how gorgeous everything is looking. The colors are so soft and beautiful. So now to build up that milk bath. And the idea with the bath and the flowers is that some of the petals should look like they're submerged or underneath that sheer white color. So I'm picking up small wet beads of that milky white and just placing them over some of the flowers. You're gonna see me picking up a bead and smushing it right on top of a flower. It's gonna make the flower seem a little bit submerged because the, the white is a sheer white, you can kind of see through it. And that's kind of how you get that milky bath effect. If you want it to look like there's more milk on top, just add more of that milky white on top of the flowers until it you know, makes it look as deep as you want it to be. But I wanted some of the flowers to be on the surface and some of them to be underneath. So there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just mushing that acrylic, as you can see, randomly on the nail, covering certain flowers and leaving some of them exposed as well. And it's really, really pretty because you can see the gold foil underneath that milk bath um, layer as well. So it's just really pretty. You get really bright and subtle hints of the sparkle as well. I'm gonna do the same thing on the middle finger, but being careful not to carry that milky white up over that ombre that we placed on that cuticle bead of that same color just trying to keep it more towards the tip of the nail and if there's a flower that is a little bit too dark I'm just gonna place a bead like that orange piece right there I'm just gonna place a bead of the milky white to kind of tone it down as well I think the thumb is my favorite finger just because it has the most flowers maybe it's because it's such a big big nail um, I was able to squeeze a ton of flowers in that but um, I'm really really loving it we will be clear capping these nails so the purpose of working as thin as possible so that you don't end up with like super bulky nails, especially because the length that I'm at right now is not particularly long. You don't want them to be too bulky. So as you can see, I'm working with extremely, extremely wet beads. Once you're done, it is time to clear cap. So now I'm building up the structure that is needed for these nails and we are going to be capping with my clear acrylic. Nothing new, nothing crazy. Just take your time. Make sure to clean your sidewalls. Always pat that product in towards the center so that you're not warping your shape and smooth the product down. Thank you. 
I'm going in with a medium carbide bit. It is a non-safety. This is my McCart narrow uh, carbide bit. I'm using it to smooth out the surface of the nail. We've got a tiny bit of bulk. There are some flowers that are up above the surface. Remember, they were not flat flowers. And I didn't pre-soak them in water, so they were kind of, some of them were a little bit bulky. And with the encapsulation, um, they might be sticking out. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time than normal just making sure that the nails um, aren't bulky. So I'm debulking where necessary, cleaning up the sidewalls in case I got just like that. Any product on the side of the nail, even though you're patting with um, your brush, sometimes you get a little bit of excess product on the sides. And as you can see, I'm taking my time and going from left to right over that cuticle area to make sure that we um, remove any product that might be touching the skin. Also, you're gonna see me spend quite a bit of time on this nail because I'm debulking. So pushing the apex wherever it needs to go, removing excess product. At this point, filing through flowers, I really don't mind um, shaving off like half a petal or something like that. I want the nails to seem, um, have the appropriate thickness for the length that they are. So that's basically what's happening here. My e-file is at a medium to high speed. Um, I can't tell you what speed it is because my e-file doesn't tell me what speed it is, but um, you use your e-file at whatever speed is best for you. Um, you should be able to work on the nail without the file skipping around the finger. That means you're working too fast. If it's bogging down or slowing or coming to a full stop when you're working, then that means you're using it too slow. And you know, as you get better and have more experience with your e-file, it's just going to get better and easier for you. So I'm only going to show you the one nail. Um, it's a bit redundant and it's the same for every finger. Um, so for the sake of time, I'm just showing you my pinky, but as you can see, we have now deep bulk and it looks really, really gorgeous and smooth, especially because we're encapsulating flowers. We don't want any ridges in that nail. So after having filed all five of of my nails I'm going in with an I said and a hand file this is a Tammy Taylor peel and stick file I really love working with this especially for myself because it has that plastic piece in the middle it keeps the nail file nice and sturdy so that I can get the best shape for myself honestly I was saying I really really wish these nails were longer but right now I can't have long nails so this is the best that I can do but yeah, I'm just making sure to clean the side walls, get a nice tapered square shape, and then go up and down on that free edge. As you can see, I'm squeezing my pinky. You do not want to do that wobbly up and down movement on your fingernail. It is not pleasant and very uncomfortable. Again, I'm only going to show you the one finger because it's redundant, and I do it the same on every finger. After that, I'm going to go wash my hands, and then I'll meet you back in a sec. So this is what that set is looking like. Oh, so beautiful and pretty and just soft. I'm so excited for spring. We're snapping for magic. Here we are cleaned and buffed. I went in with an alcohol um, alcohol and my manicure brush and decided to clean the debris, anything like that. And because I am who I am and I love bling, I'm going in, as you can see, I've got some pink gems and crystal and crystal AB rhinestones on the table. It's definitely happening. So I'm using my Zule Bling adhesive to just build up a really, really pretty and small, this is small for me guys, right? Um, a small rhinestone pattern on this pointer finger of the solid pink nail. Nothing crazy. Sorry that it goes out of focus. I'm not sure why uh, the camera was doing that but um you know nothing crazy i'm just building up a really pretty rhinestone design a lot of these rhinestones are not flat backs so like that one that i placed in between that orange not orange gold metal circle i place those metal circles like that because i know that i'm not working with flat backs when you're working with those diamond backs either you have to lay them on their side at that beveled angle or you can use like what i did a gold ring or hoop or something like that to kind of brace it you can place your glue in there and then the glue kind of acts like a well so the gem, the gem can actually sit upright it does take time for it to dry so you kind of have to hold it and kind of you know finagle it to to dry you know as you want it to or you can just use like a hurry up spray i do have that as well and sometimes i use that when i'm using resin adhesives kind of like the zule bling adhesive but um other than that you know i'm just building up a really pretty and soft rhinestone pattern using gold to kind of tie in the gold foil that we encapsulated as well after that i'm going to go in with a glossy top coat and then this set will be done
and here is what that set ended up looking like it came out so pretty and soft i'm so excited for spring i can't wait to do another milk bath i'm just really happy with this set hopefully you like it like it if you do down in the comments let me know what color flowers you would use in your own milk bath thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye